Hello, this is Michael Miller from iMiller Microscopes. iMiller is a family business based in Philadelphia, focusing solely on the sale and service of microscopes. Today, I'm going to be highlighting the Modic EasyScan device, which is a hybrid remotely controlled microscope and whole slide imaging slide scanner all in one. This is a really nice tool from Modic that offers a lot of use cases in the clinical market, research market, educational market, and many other applications. Modic offers their EasyScan system in three different models. Today I'm going to be showing you the Modic EasyScan 1, which is their single slide version. They also have their Pro 6, which can hold up to six slides. They have their Infinity Scanner, which can load up to 100 slides for continuous scanning. And then I'll also highlight their FS Live telepathology solution, which gives you that real-time remote control. Note this is an add-on software feature, so the system comes as a scanner and you can purchase the FS Live module for added features. Here we have our Modic software and really nice simple user interface. Very easy to use with limited buttons, which is really, really important. What I'm going to first do is load my single slide tray into my scanner device. And automatically, once I put that in, the system senses that tray, pulls it into the system, and creates this nice overview image. Once the overview image is then generated, you see that the system does a really nice job of detecting our tissue. This is really important because it can increase your throughput for scanning and also will work well with our live view mode to zoom and go to an area of interest automatically. Uh, we could also use this to add or remove a region if the scanner misses an area of the tissue or you want to remove an area. If you don't need the whole slide scan, you can adjust this scan area. I'll run through this layout here for a quick second. We can click scan, so with the click of a button, we can actually just go ahead and scan the slide right away. We can unload the tray. We have some advanced settings, which are password protected to prevent standard users from adjusting some of the settings. And we have our live view mode. We also have our different scanning objectives, which we can adjust. And this is important to note, we have different scan modes. So this is what I'll show you today is standard, where you can actually go up to a Z stack, which is really nice because that actually, instead of giving you just the ability to zoom in and out on your scan, you will have real control of the Z plane, meaning you can actually focus up and down across the Z plane while you zoom in and out takes up a lot more storage space and time, but is a really nice feature for certain applications. Also want to point out this area, which is our slide, slide naming box. So right now it just puts the date and time in there, but if you had a barcode on your slide, it would actually read that barcode and input that information, whether it's patient information or a session number, into this slot here. What I first want to highlight is the live view mode. Again, this is a really nice application for uh, eliminating the need to actually scan the slide yet giving a remote person real-time remote control of this scan, right? So there are telepathology solutions out there that allow that require the person on site to drive the microscope while the remote person views it. This is the next step. So simply clicking live view will bring us to our live view window and automatically you see because the system detected the tissue, we jumped right to an area and we did an autofocus because I have my autofocus tool on. I'll start by going back down to our lower magnification 4X lens and I'll start from there to show you this. Um, there's a couple different ways you can control the system. Right now I'm just gonna click and drag to move around. We can use our arrow keys to move up, down, left, and right. And there's a few other different ways, uh, which is a nice one is this right click, this joystick to give you multi-directional movement, okay? Um, also then uh, wanna show you that you can uh, capture an image. You can also do a Z stack in this live view mode. And here I'll jump to our 20x lens by clicking the 20x. Again, there's hot keys and shortcuts for all of this. Uh, with autofocus on, you'll notice really quickly it may refocus. Uh, it's hard to see because it's happening so quick, but we remain constantly in focus. I can even click in my overview scan to make a large gross movement. Notice this little window here. This is a heat map. So this more faint, larger red area is where we were with 4x. This deeper red is 20x, and it would get even smaller and a deeper red with 40x. On 20x, it's a really nice area to pan around and zoom. We actually can push spacebar to give us a larger field of view. So we're zooming out slightly without having to change the objective, which is a really nice feature. Okay. Real time, real feedback, instant movements. Okay. There's a couple different things, like you can place a marker on the overview scan here so you can mark a detection area. We can show or hide our slide label. So if you're using this as a remote controlled solution and you're not inside of the healthcare network, uh, therefore, you don't want to have patient information shown. You can actually hide the slide label. Um, and the A button brings up our hotkey map. 
So again, this is really simple. Uh, there's not much to show you because it's made to be simple. You simply click, pan around, the system moves and reacts in real time as needed. Okay. We can get out of this and go back to our scan mode. And again, uh, with the click of a button, we can then start our scan. For the sake of time here, I'm just going to actually come in here. I'm going to remove my area. And I'm just going to add a small little section here just so you can see what a scan looks like without wasting too much time. Now, scanner times uh, you know, differ significantly across different scanners. It really depends on the amount of tissue uh, and really also for the modic, uh, which scan mode you're looking to be in. So uh, it's hard to, to give you scan times um, you know, relatively uh, on par with all other scanners here, and you'll see how quickly this really does work. It also has a nice feature where it detects the white area and skips through that quickly. So it did a pre-scan, it did a, a focus, it also did an illumination correction, and now it's going ahead and scanning this, this slide here. Okay, um, A couple things to note, it's important to have the discussion about how you're going to store and maintain your slides. Uh, you can save them to a server. Modic has a nice feature, it's a one-time purchase of this DS Assistant, which is an online viewing portal. Uh, however, they also have this free version of their software to simply view the scan. So once we have our scan slide, we then access the software here. We find our scan, which in this case, I believe is this one right here. And here we have our live view. Very nice overview image of our tissue, just the area we scanned, with the ability to zoom in and pan around. Again, this is their free viewing solution. It's really nice. You see it has a lot of controls here for measurements, annotations. Uh, we can move around and do a lot here. Okay. So again, this is the scan zooming in out then out so again once we scan a slide we have real-time control much quicker reaction because this is scanned and it's just feeding us these images as we zoom in and out close out of this and that really concludes the overall presentation of the modic easy scanner solution again i showed you the modic easy scan one which is the six slide uh, the single slide scanner uh, they have the pro six and the infinity as well depending on your throughput needs a really nice tool, really easy. Everything I showed you there was dead simple. Uh, use it, you, the learning curve is pretty small in this. Uh, of course, there's a lot of conversation that has to be ironed out as far as the scanning, how you're going to control it. Uh, but there concludes the overall presentation of the Modic Easy Scan solution. For any questions, any information, you can please reach out to me again, Michael Miller, and our company's iMiller Microscopes. Thanks for paying attention to the video, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.